Hello everybody, welcome to La Cucina, I'm your host Pasquale. Today we are going to make Himalayan wine. Himalayan wine is made with dried fruit. So you can use a lot of the dried fruit, but make sure there's a lot of sugar content. Why? Because the dried fruit has already sugar in it, and you don't have to add the sugar to allow the yeast to activate and work and do this magic. So, without further ado, let me show you. So we have a nice pot over here, and I have about 200 grams of cranberry, dry cranberry. See a beautiful dry cranberry? I love dry cranberry. Mm. I want to taste it too. Also, I have 200 grams of dry apricot. I cut them up in a half, and I put them in there. Also, we have here 500 grams of, if it's five, or 600 grams, I'm sorry, of raisin, dry raisin. And we put them all here. Go to your regular drugger, you know, store, supermarket, and you find them. And they're beautiful. We can taste it at the same time as you make it. Then I have 300 grams of figs. Dry figs, of course. All this needs to be poured into clean, pure water. There is so many different, I'm mixing it all up, but there is so many different um, recipe about the Himalayan wine you can use any dry fruit that you like. You know, if you have the raspberry, I like the cranberry and I like the raisins. And the figs is one of my favorites. But also, what I'm gonna add is a little kick, which is spicy cinnamon. And I'm gonna throw the whole thing in because later we're gonna pass it through. We're not gonna leave, we're not gonna leave all this into the uh, the fermentator. So now I got a gallon of Poland Spring pure water. So like I said, I don't have to have to worry about it. And let's start it up. And we're gonna wait. We're going to wait until it comes to a boil. Let it boil for like eight to ten minutes. And then I'll show you what we're gonna do. I'll see you soon. Pure honey. It goes right into the fermentator. We're gonna put a little bit of black tea in it and let it, and let it cook. I have, I just had it boiling, so I need another, probably another six minutes. I got a few more minutes to go. Squeeze half a lemon. and throw it in, just the last few minutes. And then turn it. Because if you put the lemon in the, in the beginning, all the flavor of the lemon goes away. Okay, there we go. Now we turn it off. Now I'm gonna first put it in here, siphon it in here, because I need to take all the fruit out. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with the fruit as well. But now it goes in here. So now we get this. Like what the honey is. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I had to change my container because I didn't realize that. Look what happened with the hot. See, it was melting. So, kind of messed up right there. But listen, that's what happened when you. You play around with hot stuff, you know what I mean? And can do nothing about it. 
So now I have my uh, container that I use for brewing also, you know, beer and wine. And this is more heat resistant and will work. Okay, so let's move the mess over there. Let's pour this back in here. I pour it into a glass, one of my glass uh, uh, fermentator. I'm gonna put a little bit, just a little bit more of honey. Okay, I think we're good. Just want to make sure that's so all. I put a little more honey in there. So now this needs to be on room temperature, and then we can put in the yeast, yeast, so it will be able to ferment. This works here? No, it doesn't. That's not the right lid. I have the lid here with um, I put vodka in it, so got a bit, a little bit of of this content, the liquid content falls in. It's still clean and it's vodka, so it's not going to ruin anything. Okay, so the, init the initial gravity is one, 1,100. Okay, so the Himalayan wine now is warm, is uh, room temperature. And I put yeast in here. And now I'm going to mix it together and then I'm going to put it in a it's going to ferment. Okay, now we close it. And I'm going to see you guys in 24 hours. I'm going to show you the progress. This is only two hours since I started. I made this. This is the Himalayan wine. And look at the way the fermentation this started. It's amazing. Look at this. All right, guys, so we are in my garage with the Himalayan wine that I made on 426, and today is May 11. Um, you guys can see it's got to start to get clear, and the you can see at the bottom of the sediment. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, siphon it into my other bucket that I use for uh, fermenting anyway, and automatically... The wine is passing. Hopefully it doesn't fall on me. I want to show you guys. I can see, I hope. Okay. And that's the Himalayan wow. wine. Pouring easy. Back into, and I rinse this with very, very hot water. So we do have a little bit of the sediment that fell in before. See, a little bit. So that will be better. Now we put back the airlock. And we're gonna leave it for another week or so. Okay, it's time to put the Himalayan wine in the bottle. So I disinfect, wash and recycle some of my bottles from wine and Vodka. So I am using my pump again. I 
and we're doing a nice and slow so I can fill them off. And then we have to use, so we have to see uh, the alcohol content. Look how nice this is, it's a beautiful color. I'm very excited to taste this uh, Himalaya, Himalayan wine. I never did, never tasted it before. We'll see how it works. I'm using the pump so that if there is a, if there is a very little sediment on the bottom, I don't want it in the wine. Even though you know it's natural, but still, I want to try my best to get as clear as possible. But guys, this is fantastic from dry fruit making the Himalayan wine. All right, this is very fruity and is made from dry fruit, which is excellent. It's delicious. You know, hopefully it's delicious. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to La Cucina. So about a month and a half, two months ago, I started making the Himalayan wine. And after I made the Himalayan wine with the same fruit that I use, to make the Himalayan wine, I made also jam. So now, the other day, uh, a couple of days ago, I was able to put this wine into the bottles, and now I want to taste it. I never taste this in my life. So we'll see what happens. And uh, let's try it first. Salute. Very nice. Let's try the um, jam, even though I already tried it, but I want to see how uh, the combination goes with our wine. If it pairs well or not. This jam is amazing. If you guys didn't see the video yet, watch the video. Amazing. Oh wow. Incredible. Okay guys, thank you so much and salute. See you next time.